Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. <laughs> it's that time of the week again. It's time for the Undervalued Key Show. All right. <laughs> so um, before we get on into that, I got a another package in the mail. <laughs> and before we get on into that, let's uh, let's promote the 200 subscriber giveaway. Now, when we hit 200 subscribers, we're going to be giving this book away. It's the Joker number one, Mark Brooks variant cover, with the Joker looking really cool, driving his car, hanging out with Punchline. And um, if you win, not only are you going to win the book, you're also going to get a cool CBCA sticker, which is the Comic Book Community Awards. And that's kind of like the Oscars for YouTube personalities like myself. And a comic book channel that's much bigger than myself is going to win that. But hey, I'm trying to help them out, and you guys should check that out on Brian LCS's channel. And uh, how you win the book is simple. Just like, comment, and be subscribed to the channel, and that'll enter you to win. And when we hit 200 subscribers, we'll raffle the book away, and I'll put a video up notifying the winner. All right, guys. Let's get dived right on into what I got in the mail and what the undervalued key of the week is. Well, don't know if I need that. We'll just tear it. Now remember, like I always said on the Undervalued Key show, you should always like think uh, about what you're buying and you should like like what you're buying because if you in, if you invest into a key, like if you if you speculate, right, and you say, "Hey, I think this key is going to be worth more in 10 years." Um, and you're wrong, you want to still be happy with your purchase and and so I always recommend that you guys buy Buy things that, that you can speculate on things, that's fine. But make sure that you are that you do like the book so that way if, if uh, your speculation doesn't pan off and it's still worth the same amount in 10 years, you're not going to be stuck with a book that you guys didn't want, right? Alright, I'm really excited about adding this one to the collection. It is, oh, this is awesome. That front cover has got a lot of color. Okay, alright guys. So, the undervalued key of the week is Uncanny X-Men 158. And, um, I think it's a really cool issue. It's the second appearance, arguably the second appearance of Rogue. Um, many people say if you read the stories, uh, it's kind of apparent that she's not quite a part of the team yet in this issue. And in the the issue that came out the very same week that that you know that has the tie with, she's already a part of the X Men. So it seems canonically that this one comes before that one. And I think out of all three of the books, you know, I would love to own an Avengers Ten. I'm not saying I don't want it, but you know, I do think out of all three of the books, this one's got the coolest Rogue cover. Um, you've got actually got Rogue there. And she's knocking Wolverine out. Check it out. And the copy that I got is a 9.0. So it's not nothing too crazy. But um, yeah, we'll get into prices and you'll see you'll see how I ended up with this book. <laughs> All right. So um, the we have the Uncanny X-Men 158. And uh, in a 9.0, there are actually 75 universal copies on the census. And I got mine for forty-seven dollars. Uh, the same way I, I just kind of bid a low bid and was like, well, if I win, I win. If people want to pay more than, I think I put fifty dollars. I was like, I'll pay. I would pay that, and it went to forty-seven. So it was pretty close. Um, but uh, hey, I want it for for forty-seven dollars, and. Uh, it's a 9.0, and the total on the card was $60 with shipping and handling to get it, to get it here. And uh, I saw a listing sold before mine for uh, $55.99, and there, do not buy this. Don't buy this. There's a current listing uh, for $99 shipping and handling, and um, the, the fair market value on it, um, on a... Uh, on the oh, what's that website again? I'm sorry. On Key Collector, 
the fair market value on it on Key Collector is $37 right now, which seems kind of low. So maybe I paid a little more than I should have. I don't know. <laughs> it, people bid me up to that. What are you going to do? <laughs> we'll look at the cover. You can't deny. Uh, um, all right. So, uh, yeah, so don't buy that current one. And we always want to cover the 9.6 and 9.8 because that's kind of where the markets really lie uh, on these uh, on these books. And so the, for the 9.6, we have a fair market value on Key Collector of $130, they say. Um, on, on my checking on, uh, on eBay sold listings, I was able to find a low of $100 and a high of $140. So 130, that sounds that sounds fair by Key Collector, um, and there is a current listing up for 140. Um, not saying don't buy that. I mean, maybe if you could like uh, make an offer of 125 or something, and they took it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think you're paying shipping and handling too. And then the the 9.8, I didn't see a lot of sales uh, data uh, on on eBay. There was one sold 9.8. And uh, it's it's a it was signed by Chris Claremont and it sold for five hundred and forty seven dollars. So I kind of call that an outlier because it's uh it's it was signed by Chris Claremont and a nine point eight. Um, there is a current listing right now on eBay for three fifty. Unfortunately, I I think I maybe I'm because I'm not subscribed. I couldn't see nine point eight sales data on Key Collector. So I'm not sure what they what they think it's going for. <laughs> There's two don't buy these. There's two people with them with uh 9.8 uh Uncanny X-Men 158s for 12.50. Yeah, don't don't buy that. That's that's a little high. Um I want to say current fair market value is probably somewhere around the $300 range seeing as the one for 350 has been sitting there for a while. However, it does have 50 plus watchers. Um, so there's a high interest in people purchasing a 9.8 at three at that 350. Um, they're in Canada though. So I think maybe the extra shipping costs are pushing some people away. They might purchase it for $10 less if they could. So like I said, I feel like the fair market value or, or grabbing a deal, I guess. Like if you guys could pick Pick up a 9.8 for $300. I think that's a good deal right now. Um, now, there's 1,266 universal copies of this book. So that's additionally another thing. Because it's a book from uh, 1982, it, there's there's not a lot of, uh, of, of graded copies uh, available of this, really. I mean, 1,266 is not too many. And in a 9.8, there are 314. In a 9.6, there are 323. And as I said, there was only 75 total of the 9.0s. Probably because they're not too much more than, than grading your own book. Which was, you guys know me, which was partially why I bought it. Because I, you know, I just looked at the pictures and looking at it here. You know, to be able to find a copy like that out in the wild that's in that minty condition and then send it into CGC myself and be able to own own a very nice copy of the book. I'm looking at I'm looking at more than the sixty dollars probably. But uh or at least equal to the sixty dollars with a lot more a lot more work on my end and then waiting for CGC to send it back four months, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, now, some of the reasons why I think this is a good key to pick up right now are, if you guys have watched the show, the X-Men are coming. They're coming. And when the X-Men come, trust me on this, I'm not the only one that's super excited about this. There's plenty of other people. All right, we're going to, we're going to break it out here. There's plenty of other people like me that grew up watching that X-Men cartoon and got hooked into comics a lot because of that X-Men cartoon. And yeah, Rogue was like a 
big deal in that X-Men cartoon. <laughs> and and in the movies, she was okay. Like, like I've said before, this isn't a review of the Fox movies. Those movies make me a little sad sometimes. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, and just... It was kind of the same with as as my my thoughts on Uncanny X Men three eighty two versus three eighty three. Whereas I like three eighty three better because you get Bishop and Storm on the cover. I like this one better than Rom or Avengers ten because you get you get a bunch of classic X Men characters on the cover. You get Wolverine, you get Rogue, and you get Storm. <laughs> And like I said in the last week's episode, guys, on on War, Warpath's first appearance, a lot of the times, the first appearances, they're still a bad guy, and they're fighting, you're fighting their team before they ended up joining them. And I really like that. I think it's kind of, it's kind of a cool little, um, a cool little pattern that, that I've kind of noticed through some of these keys, which made them made me kind of want them a little bit more just because of the, the cool cover. Um, all right, guys, so that's that's the undervalued key show for this week. That's what I picked up was uh, Uncanny X-Men 158. And, uh, yeah, like I, like I said before on the undervalued key show, if, uh, if, if any, any key you see on here, you're not going to see me selling on my website or anything like that. That's, I wouldn't be pumping up a book that I'm trying to sell. I love I love the books that I show off on this show, and and I plan to keep them for a long time, and then my kids will will hopefully have some some cool stuff. Um, yeah, so guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and have your chance to win the Joker number one Mark Brooks variant cover. And if you guys want to support the channel and you like this kind of content, hey, click the link below and shop on my eBay store. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and have a great day.